Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Windows file share subscription in SSRS with default parameter values. I have left some errors and I would like to walk you through while we will go and create the subscription, how to solve those errors as well. So let's go ahead and take a look on the report. So this is a report. This is a very simple report. We have a salesperson first name, salesperson last name and region. And uh, the parameter we have created is called region. So if I will put Asia region, it will show me the records for Asia. If I will put Europe, it will show me records for Europe. And I have one North America. So let me show you data set real quick. Go to design. And uh, this is our data set. So region is equal to at the rate region. That's all. So I have deployed this report to the report server. And uh, here in the export reports demo, this report is called report sub so if you run this report we will be able to write asia it will show us asian records and then if i write north america i made a mistake here see okay now we'll see the records uh, related to north america region now that's great what we would like to do we would like to create a subscription for this report now let's go to the report again so we are in the main folder and click here on the down arrow manage and here we need a subscription so once you click here on the subscription we have two options a new subscription that's standard subscription and new data driven subscription we are going to perform this one in next video so let's uh, stick with this one for now as we would like to create a, a file or report in the folder and uh, we would like to provide maybe asia region only so or Europe or North America. So that's what we are going to do in this demo. New subscription. Let's read the message. Subscriptions cannot be created because the credentials used to run the report are not stored. Or if you have linked the report, the link is no longer valid. So that's the issue. So what is the exactly issue here? If I go and see my report, I can see my report just fine. But if I will try to create a subscription, it is in, oh, you don't have permission. Maybe there is some permissions are not saved. So what is happening right now? Let's go back to the report, go to manage and see a few things here. So as you can see that we are using data source. So for data source, what data source we are using? We are using sales 2014 that's under data source sources folder. So let's go ahead and take a look what exactly it is using. Now let's go to the home and data sources and sales underscore 2014. You can click here, it will open it. And now you can see that I'm using Windows integrated uh, integrated security. It is using my credentials. So that's the problem. So uh, when we will be creating subscription, it's not going to say my credentials there. So we need to have some credential that can pull the data from the SQL server for this report. So I will go ahead and create account or login here. So let's go ahead to the security, go to logins and the new login. Let me call this one. I'm going to create as a SQL server authentication. So RPT that's login. Let's provide the same password. Let's see RPT login one, two, three. And we don't want to change the password forever go to server roles and give sysadmin this is not a good idea to give sysadmin to be straightforward but i'm gonna let's let's say we will use the best uh, practices and go to the user mapping instead of uh, uh, server roles go to sales database and here we give uh, read permissions so as we are reading the data from the server sales database so, so this is good now we are not touching any other database for this uh, uh, by using this uh, login so we have rpt login here this is good if i would like to connect let's say if i would like to connect here i can use that rpt login provide the password why i'm showing you all this because i have got the emails people are not able to access that they don't know how to create the login and all that and this is how you will be creating and making sure that login has permission so see here this is login 
and you will be going to databases and you will be able to see sales and tables and see everything from data if you will try to go to the sale region database you will not have permission as we did not provide permission on those databases so hit ok we are all good now let's go to the report server again and here we will say credentials stored uh, securely in the report server let's go ahead and provide that rpt login and provide the password rpt login one two three test your connection connection created successfully or apply we are all good here go to home again go to your report folder and then we go to the report again and say manage sources the same sources we are using so it's no change here go to subscription and new subscription this time we did not get that error as we have saved the credentials for the data source and we are good to go now we have the permissions and everything choose a delivery method so here we will be using windows file share next what name you would like to have it okay fine i'm going to call this one maybe reports uh, sale sales report sale report and then what path you would like to have it here we have to provide the unc path where uh, we would like to put this report so click here on the run and then provide the unc path unc path start with backslash backslash your server name in my case it is amir pc and then the drive ladder so in this case it's c you can have d f g h whatever and then dollar sign once you click that and then provide the rest of the uh, path so let's say i'm under users i open the users amir and then i would like to put this report in the videos folder so I'll copy this one. Make sure uh, if you don't have the UNC path by yourself, ask your DBA's hey, um, if you are DBA, fine, uh, you, you will just uh, work with the Windows people and uh, get the UNC path. Uh, or you can uh, go to the machine, get the machine name, folder, and all that, and then use that. So you can gather this information from other members in the team if you do not know the UNC path. So go, go ahead to the report manager again here and uh, that's it so we have provided the path here and uh, what of uh, rendering format so you would like to have a uh, pipe delimited tab delimited these are not there uh, by default i have created a video how to add a tab delimited and pipe delimited so you can watch those videos as well so let's say we go with the csv comma delimited and here credential used to access the file share so remember when we will start creating this uh, whole uh, thing, it was uh, complaining, okay, you do not have credentials stored for the data, uh, data source. So that's what one thing we have to do it. Second part, on the folder where you are writing this uh, report, uh, you need some username and password that should have permission on that. So let's go back here. I am in the videos folder. If I right click here go to properties and now if i see security i can see the people who has permission on this one so here is one of them amir shahzad amir underscore hotmail.com as i'm using windows 10 and uh, um, i use this uh, login to login and it has permission on everything and uh, you have other one is called the amir pc administrators so uh, you can have other accounts here maybe Amir PC backslash um, Raza or uh, Tech Brothers IT or whatever. So you you will see those uh, accounts here. If you do not have permission, you can go ahead and add them. So first uh, to add them, you need to have permission to add them. Maybe you will ask your uh, Windows side people, hey, go, can you go ahead and uh, uh, provide the permission? So they, they will add the people here. They will click here, add, and then provide the name, whatever they need to, and provide the permission. So now. In our case, we are not providing any permission. We know that what we need to use, cancel, come back, and provide here. So that's where you will provide the username and then provide the password. Overwrite an existing file with the newer version. So if you would like to overwrite every time of the file, whenever your subscription will run, you can do it. 
do not override the file if the previous version exists so if it does exist we don't want to override it uh, let it be as it is increment the file name with new version or add it so you can go ahead and add one two three and all that with each of the new file created so different things we, you can do that i have done a video how to even add uh, let's say if we will add at, at the rate timestamp so it will add the timestamp at the end of the file name so you can do that as well so let's go ahead and overwrite existing file it doesn't really matter because we have added the timestamp so every time you run it it will be new timestamp for that file so it will have a uh, different file name as it, uh, it appended with the timestamp now we can select any of them uh, here this one will work for us uh, uh, increment we don't need these two of them so overwrite is fine with us or we can select this one if we would like here you will be selecting the schedule on which schedule schedule you would like to run this uh, uh, subscription so let's say Monday is fine Tuesday Thursday whatever p.m. a.m. so you select that part and then hit OK now here is the important part we have region so I have to provide Asia here and that's it now we hit OK if I would like to create for Europe I can create for Europe here so I can provide the parameter value so if I'm creating three different uh, reports uh, let's say uh, um, I can create three different subscription with each uh, mm, different parameter value so I can create sale uh, Asia sale Europe sale uh, North America so three subscriptions uh, this is one way uh, it will be you will be repeating a lot but in the data driven we will be creating a table that can use uh, or uh, the, uh, the parameter values can be read from there and uh, one subscription uh, can handle that but here you have to create three in case uh, you would like to create uh, three reports uh, uh, in the folder for each of the region now we are good here let's uh, Asia is fine or Europe is fine hit OK now once you hit OK I by by purpose I did that part so I know it is a little waste of time but I wanted to show you the SQL server agent or service is not running the operation requires SQL server agent service to run so that's the problem if you are using this is our server where our this one is used by the report server so if we go and check the databases here are our report databases and if the SQL server agent is not running you will not be able to create the subscription that's a problem so you have to have a SQL Server agent running. Right click and start. The work we have done is wasted to be straightforward. So we have to redo it quickly. Now it is starting. It started just fine. This part, if I will go back, let's see if it will give me that page. Otherwise, I have option to go home. Let's go back. So that's good. If you hit home, you are done. You have to come back and recreate it. So this was really good part like okay we went back and it was saved that was smart of Microsoft to keep in that saved hit okay and our subscription is ready so now it should be running a new subscription that's what the status is never ran again uh, as of now and uh, now we are good now now you have done with the subscription you would like to run one time at least and make sure it is running the way you you have configured it so you go to the your uh, SQL Server agent, uh, and then uh, you will run the job. So th there, are, there, are, there is a query that you can run to find uh, which job belong to which uh, uh, subscription, or you can query the report databases here. So let's say if we query here, say select aspect from previous subscription. If we run this one, we can gather some information from here. And we can see that uh, which uh, report is using which is subscription so here is our new subscription and you can get gather all the information uh, from there uh, I will put uh, the query how to use that one uh, here uh, I don't see much information related to the job name uh, but uh, you can always go ahead and check the properties let's say property this job is just created so we, we can uh, always take a look okay when it was created and all those kind of things and uh, from there uh, last modified so you can see that uh, it was uh, the time it was created so this is the time and all that so now this one is different so let's see 
yep this one is correct so that's the time so this one is just created so this is the job that's going to run our subscription so you can go ahead and run this but i will try to put a query there how you can find which job belong to which subscription so or you can just google it so right click here start the job now this is going to run and we'll see if everything is good now hit okay go back to your report man manager and here you sh you should see some information once uh, you will refresh so you see that it is pending status okay this is the time it is running fine let's re file uh, share this is where the file has saved this is the name of the file so we are all good here status has changed from pending to this one fine let me go to the folder and now you can see that uh, our report is here with the uh, time date time added to it right click open i apologize for all the things uh, it took a whole lot of time so you can see that now we have europe uh, data here now one more thing i would like to do come back real quick in this report we were creating a this report with the single value parameter if i will change this to the multi value parameter what will be changing on the other side so i will say in and then uh, that's it now hit okay now it is multi value parameter and i have to come back to parameter go to region and provide add multiple values so now if i would like to create at least let's say if i would like to put asia europe and hit a view report i would like to see the data for both of them so i would i want to create a report uh, where it can accept m multi values for the parameter and uh, if i need to create a two or three regions in one report i can do that so let's go ahead and deploy the report now we are done with the deployment if you go back to your report uh, then nothing change so report is there so let's say this is the report let's refresh and uh, we can see that let's say if we go to detail we can see that last modified uh, here so you can see that it just uh, deployed and uh, but if we go to the subscription uh, go to manage subscription subscription is still there so if you are overriding your report uh, with the um, new report uh, it's not going to change anything but one thing we have to change we have to go back to edit and here instead of only europe we would like to have asia as well now you see that when i click here it is a given me a drop down it uh, figure out okay now we have a multi value parameter so we can click here and say asia and hit okay this is good we come back to the sql server agent job run the job again success new file is created you will not be running your uh, uh, subscription from the sql server agent all the time you have as you have scheduled it it will run on schedule this is the one time you will be running it to make sure file is created correctly and it is giving you correct data so let's go and take a look now we have asia and europe data as our uh, parameter was able to accept multi values so thanks very much for watching this video and I hope you guys learned some good stuff from here and uh, sorry for taking a whole lot of time on each of the step and showing you. I feel that uh, this is really important. I got a lot of emails from people saying, uh, okay, I'm stuck on the login. I'm stuck uh, uh, how I will verify if my login is working, uh, how I will open uh, the UNC path. So I needed to go um, through each of these uh, components in detail. Uh, but I, I, I'm very, very much hopeful you guys have learned some good stuff from here. Thanks. I will see you guys in the next video.